Yeah. yeah. So those connections that I'm, you know, making with those girls, like you said, it's, you know, you see it in a whole new light. You see a whole new perspective on the other side of things. You yeah. know, once in the knee pads and now with the clipboard. There you, you know, go. It, That's a good way to put yeah, it. Yeah. Right. But uh, from knee pads to clipboard, there's the title of your podcast. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is Tim with the TMA Connection. It's your local podcast that's focusing on people that are making up the difference in the lives of others. They're helping in the community. They're doing great things in the community. And we're even talking about real estate every now and then. Today, we're going to mash all three together because we have a very special guest uh, here in the podcast studio today. Uh, we have recently acquired a new marketing director for the TMA real estate team. And she happens to be my daughter, Sarah Markland. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Sarah is in love with having a microphone in front of her <laughs> and is just ecstatic about being here and doing this interview. Yeah. And, uh, and, and like I said, uh, recently uh, has joined the real estate team as as a marketing person and a marketing director and we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh but we're also going to talk a little bit about who you are and uh, give everybody a bit a little bit of a background about who sarah markland the sarah markland the sarah markland, the sarah markland? uh who sarah is take it away sarah all right well my name is sarah markland um like my dad said I am the daughter of Amy and Tim Markland. Um, I have two younger sisters, Anna and Izzy. And um, so I'm the oldest of three. The oldest one. I mean. The elder. The elder might be the favorite, but. We won't admit that on camera. <laughs> Can't do that. Uh, I'm a senior at Towson University. Yep. Going into my last year. I'm halfway through my last year of school um, as a marketing and communications major. Yep. And um, I am living at home back in um, Bel Air, Hartford County, commuting back and forth to Towson and um, have the privilege of going back to my alma mater um, to coach for the girls volleyball team at Bel Air High School. Um, so go Bobcats. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I also coach at Intensity Volleyball Club, a local club in Hartford County as well. So all um, right. So yeah. you got some stuff going on. Yeah, just, you know, just a little bit. Just to a keep little busy. bit of stuff, right? <laughs> and, and then throw a marketing director on top of that. Absolutely. And, Bring it yeah. on. Hey, you got time. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's talk a little bit about college. All right. Um, it, like you said, you're a senior at Towson. What are you enjoying the most about being a marketing communications major? Yeah, so um, I really fell in love with marketing and communications probably about my sophomore year is really when I really figured out what I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, for my major. And um, being at Towson University, I started at Hartford Community College um, for two years and got my associates in communication studies just to kind of figure out what I wanted to um do with my you know the rest of my life sure. and um yeah so i transferred over to towson my junior year and that's where i really fell in love with um the marketing um i am a mass communications minor which is more so of the advertising public relations marketing side of things mm -hmm. um so using my minor with my major of communication studies um i really fell in love with it i think you know i've always had a passion for you know brands and um you know building a brand or mm -hmm. you know social media marketing especially sure um you know i do a lot of the social media marketing for the volleyball club that i coach for so um really when i started doing that um that's when i really fell in love with it so um you know learning about all these different uh, um, marketing tools and skills and advertising and public relations all the whole nine yards yeah you know that's what it you know has most excited me for even coming into this position um you know, utilizing the skills I'm using in school, um, and just getting started, getting started with right. my career. And, um, what, a, and what a great way to do that. Absolutely. You, you know, to, Absolutely. To, to, to learn as you go, cause yeah. of course you're coming into this green and you don't know a whole lot. I mean, you've right. got, but to be able to apply it, 
so that it can help maybe prepare you for whatever next step there is absolutely uh, in, in in your career so i think it's a pretty good opportunity i think it's a good uh it's a good fit here yeah and you yeah. know the boss huh, yeah just yeah. A, just a bit <laughs> yeah but separating father and daughter and, yeah and and uh teammate yeah you know, teammate two, for two, sure two different things so yeah that's awesome um you you did mention uh that you're you've coached club volleyball and you've and you're now back at Bellar high school as an assistant jv and varsity coach there um talk a little bit about that like you know you you grew up around it um you um you know you, you grew up around it uh you you were a player um and now getting the opportunity to coach how's that been for you you're about yeah. well we talked off camera and you're about 50 percent the way through the um the season yeah so it is flown by fast let me tell you um yeah. no but it's just been simply amazing um you know, going back to my alma mater, where it all started, where it even all started back in 2000, you know, when was it? 2000, when did you coach there? Uh, so I coached uh, boys volleyball for five years from 2002 to 2007, and then um, 2008 through 2012 or 13 like or something yeah. like that. So, yeah. It's yeah. And I mean, you know, I was born in 2002. I'm 21 years old. And yeah, um, yeah so volleyball has been around really from the start yeah. and um you know growing up um coming to your games in the stands with mom and my sisters and um you know cheering on the Bella bobcats you know looking down the road i was like this is where i want to be one day i want to be stepping out on this court yeah. i knew i was going to be a Bella one day but didn't know at the time how you know big volleyball was going to be in my life even now sure um you know just shagging balls at you know dad's practice and practicing with the girls like that was you know amazing and then um you know grew up through middle school doing camps and clinics and then high school is really where it all started for me as a player and um had a great um couple seasons at beller high school um my team was a state finalist my junior year yeah. making beller high school history so that's um you know super awesome to be a part of um that record-breaking team yeah yeah um yeah but then coming back you know 21 years old is the age to coach in harford county so you know it's it's cool working alongside um you know who was my coach yeah in um, high school and um you know just stepping into the coaching role um has been just so amazing the girls are amazing um you know just not only from, you know, club volleyball and high school volleyball, you, you get to see a lot of different girls and, you know, mm -hmm. make all these different connections. And, um, it has truly been the most amazing experience for me. And, um, you know, it was hard to definitely hang up the knee pads and the volleyball shoes and sure. be ready to, you know, be done with playing. But I was like, I, I can't give up volleyball, you mm -hmm. know, I gotta be still involved somehow. And, uh, you know, back in 2020, the COVID year when, um, you know, I had just graduated high school when I was in my freshman year of college. Intensity Volleyball Club took a chance on me as um, a coach. Uh -huh. And, you know, it's been like amazing ever since. So yeah, um, that's cool. Yeah. So this will be my fourth season with Intensity Volleyball Club um, as a head coach. And, um, you know, like you said, assisting at Bellar High School. So, it's just been great. I, there's just no words to, you know, describe how yeah. it's amazing, great, like all positive things about this all. So has the transition from being a player to now being a coach, has there been any challenge to that? I mean, I know it's amazing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's fun. Right. You know, you're get you're, you have a passion for the sport. Has there been any challenge to it? Yeah, I definitely think that there, um, you know, you kind of got to separate yourself from the once player that you were. You got to okay. separate, you know, the the playing part of it, but then also now being the leader mm -hmm. for, you know, a big group of girls. Um, so I definitely had, you know, anxiety, stresses about stepping into the coach role, especially coming back to Beller High School, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you hear Beller High School and, you know, it's one of the top schools in the county. Yep. And for them to also take a chance on me as a coach and, um, you know, rallying around me and I'm working with some of the best coaches in the County. So just, um, great role models. And, you know, it, it was a stressful transition at first, yeah. I think. Um, but once I kind of found my groove, 
there ain't stopping me. There's no stopping That's me. Awesome. <laughs> it, it, it's cool. It's cool to watch you as an observer from from the bleachers, looking at you, thinking about the th- days that I coached, but right. just remembering that little girl that was you know running around the gym and now she's you know part of the team right and uh and 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 leading the team and i think what really is a huge benefit to the position that you're in right now is that you understand the 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 uh, the girls the the psychology of of the team and, and 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 maybe even now being a leader you're able to um you know almost Almost see it from a different perspective, but Absolutely. still understand it because you went through it right. only just a few years ago. Right. Yeah. yeah. So those connections that I'm, you know, making with those girls, like you said, it's, you know, you see it in a whole new light. You see a whole new perspective on the other side of things, you yeah. know, once in the knee pads and now with the clipboard. There you, you know, go. It, That's a good way to put yeah, it. Yeah, right. But uh, From knee pads to clipboard, there's the title of your podcast. There we so. go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um so, so certainly you're finishing strong with Towson. I hope. Right. I haven't looked at any report cards or anything like that. Nothing to worry about. Nothing of to worry about. Okay, <laughs> good. Uh, and and of course, uh, you're running a very successful, uh, helping to run a very successful uh, volleyball team at Bel Air, as well as intensity. Uh, uh, we would be remiss if we did not plug uh, Dig Pink, which is coming right. up. So uh, give everybody a little bit of an idea about. Um, this huge dig pink event why it's important and um talk more about that um yeah so dig pink is a um volleyball rally event in the month of october um the side out foundation is the one who runs dig pink Mm -hmm. um and the side out foundation um helps those um with stage four metastatic breast cancer um so raising um you know awareness Mm -hmm. but as well as um providing funds for research um, and finding, you know, treatment for mm-hmm. these patients. You know, there's no cure to breast cancer, unfortunately, yet. yet. Hopefully, yet is the key word. I think so, too. Um, but providing hopes for more tomorrows with loved ones. Yeah. Um, so, Beller High School has been a big part um of the side out foundation for many years now um since back in 2010 yeah it started at Beller high school um with you coaching and um ever since then we've been a very successful program um raising money for the side out foundation and um you know one of the top fundraising schools in the state and um just really making a difference and you know these these girls love dig pink yeah you know and i think dig pink, I think the school loves dig and pink. the school loves dig. Uh, it, yeah. i mean it's you know they're all coming together to make a difference mm-hmm. and they're excited about it yeah and um you know so when um you know i think of dig pink and what our dig pink game will look like you know you'll walk into the gym to a bunch of pink decorations that the girls are gonna make um pink jerseys we just got pink jerseys this year um pink shirts that we're selling um raffles 50 50s um the the fan the fans are all dressed in pink right we're gonna have the pinkest fan contest surf for a shirt so just all these fun things um to just raise money for such a great foundation and you know we we know it's also a great foundation because um you know my mom also works for um the side out foundation now so um to see her making a difference um with that and as well as you know We've been around it for so many years, and now it's even more near and dear to our hearts as, um, right. you know, mom is working for the foundation. Um, it's just so amazing. Yeah. So um, we'll get this podcast definitely out before the Dig Pink game. All uh, right. Yeah. So, yeah. The, well, the, you, you, you got you to gotta hurry up here. Yeah, right. When, when is Dig Pink? So Dig Pink is on October 17th. It's a Tuesday night. So um, JV's at 515, Varsity's at 645. Um, like I said, where you're pink, uh, it's going to be a great game that you don't want to miss. We're playing Falston High School, which is oh, uh, a awesome. top rival in our county, so it'll yep. be a great game. It's one that you don't want to miss. Yeah, there. That wow, that was a great plug. That I was know, a great I know. plug. Good job. <laughs> Can you tell she's a little bit passionate about this stuff? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. So, all right. So we we've covered volleyball. We've covered Towson. Let's talk about your role on this real estate team that we have, uh, the Marklin Advantage. Um, Again, being my daughter, I think this is a perfect fit for you uh, to to take what you've been learning in school and helping us get our um, get our brand out there and uh, and and serving more of the community and everything. So, give us a little bit about the things that you're going to be doing to help the real estate team uh, grow in their marketing adventure. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um 
mostly I'll, what I'll be doing um, on the marketing side of things is marketing the properties, um, you know, that we're selling mm-hmm. and um, building our brand out on social media, but then just the social media content creation of it all. Mm. Um, reels, putting out, um, you know, different, you know, content creations for properties and what we're doing as a team, um, producing podcasts, like we just yeah. mentioned a couple minutes ago. Um, so, putting our name out there, um, you know, working with other small businesses, you know, this is a great podcast to, you know, work with small businesses, highlight them. Um, so that's definitely what's going to be a lot with the podcast stuff. Um, but not only that, you know, um, getting a great opportunity to work with, you know, three of the best realtors and, uh, um, the, our Pl- plugging this, Adam and Dan the man yeah, yeah. The Adam and Dan the man and of course you and um, yeah so just being an assistant to you all um, and you know real estate can be a lot sometimes so you know just having extra hands to go run flyers out to a property or you know putting a sign on there that says um, coming soon under sold. contract yeah. yeah all those fun things so um, just being an extra hand for you all but also event planning event yeah. planning for our very special clients yeah so yeah and, and that's definitely something that we want to grow upon um we, we started to do that um the last the last event we were supposed to have was um actually two events ago uh the the morning of the bowling party yeah. i i can i came down with tested positive for COVID. right so, bummer. yeah so you know, but but hopefully we can get to a point where we're doing one a quarter absolutely and, and, and you know family events adult events and just, so you're going to be taking the reins over on trying to get those things out there to our clients absolutely. um and and really the big thing too is um when you're talking about Instagram and Facebook reels and stuff like that is, you know, we've been putting some funny stuff out there, but, right. but the educational part is what I really want to focus on because there is so much to real estate and me being a previous teacher right. is I'm about the education part of it. So I, Absolutely. that's where people's attention are. And I really feel like, um, creating good informative, um, content that really helps people understand the buying and the selling process of real estate and other things in real estate that that will help them that once their time comes that they are ready to buy or sell they have a general knowledge of it but they also know what team they can come to to help them in that through you know through that process right absolutely so, yeah so I'm excited for you to be with us. Yeah. Um, and, and again, we're, we're really want to focus on too is things that are going on in the community. Absolutely. Uh, local businesses, supporting local business, um, people that are moving to the area, using our uh, content as a resource to kind of get a familiarity of, uh, of, you know, what's in Bel Air, what's in Haverty Grace, you know, all, all those kinds of things. So, um, we're going to be reaching out to local businesses that mm-hmm. we want to spotlight. Absolutely. When I say we, Sarah's going to be reaching out <laughs> to local businesses. Um, and, and we've already got a few that we're trying to just sum up some dates and times where we can come out, we can film, we can put together some video content for, uh, for these local businesses to promote their, their business and help us get our name out as well. Um, and then also organizations that are doing, um, that are that are that are doing good things for the community raising money for things like breast cancer awareness or you know the amanda hitchcad walk we had uh sandy gazage you know when we were doing the podcast before we had her come on so right. again as a real estate agent we are connectors of people mm-hmm. and when when people need something they're usually they usually ask hey who do you know type thing and this community is just a web of connections and we just want to strengthen those connections by introducing uh you to the people that are again making a difference in the lives of others and their businesses and and just promoting everything within our harford county community and cecil county um and baltimore county but primarily harford county so yeah i mean i'm super pumped it's going to take a huge load off of my shoulders to collaborate with you and uh you know not just as father daughter but as teammates like right. you're, you're we are teammates and mm-hmm. i'm really looking forward to that yeah definitely i think that's one of the most um one of the number one things i'm looking forward to too is just working alongside you and you know the successful bo- business that you have made um for yourself and um you know using the strategies and you know things i've been learning in school to just blossom and just pave my way and yeah um what could potentially be 
a great career for me. So uh, that's what I like. That's yeah. what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. So, um, whether people want, if people have a local business mm-hmm. or if people have some kind of charity that they're trying to promote, or if somebody wants to even come on the podcast and want to really want to get interesting people behind the mic, yeah. uh, to, to interview, um, how can people connect with you, um, to, to set up something that we can, um, showcase them? Right. So, um, you know, being a new member of the real estate team, I um, just got a Markland Advantage email. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll be Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at the themarklandadvantage.com. Um, email is a great way to contact me, and um, as well as phone, um, 443-900-2853. Sarah Marklin, you rock this interview. I'm trying. You are a pro. <laughs> you are a pro. Yeah. Wow. Folks, if you think she did a great job, please share this. Please like it, comment on it, share it. The more you interact with social media, the more the algorithm pushes it out there. And that's the greatest favor that you could do for us is to just help us get this word out. Uh, We are on Facebook and Instagram at The Markland Advantage. We're also on YouTube at The Markland Advantage. And we are just shy of 500 subscribers. And believe it or not, at the beginning of this year, we had 78 Wow. So, so it's really it's really growing. It's growing fast. I'm glad that we're back behind the microphones for the podcast. We had to take a little bit of a hiatus because now we are in, in our new uh, environment here at Cummings & Company. Nice studio conference room here. Love the, the table, the setup, and everything. Uh, so we're super excited about that. Super excited to get things rolling again with the podcast. And, uh, and, and, and again, everything that Sarah's going to be doing is going to be awesome. And really appreciate it. Uh, I, I, not only am I appreciative of you being on the real estate team, but to see you growing up to be the leader that you are, to be just a good, decent human being, um, you are just a product of amazing parenting. So, <laughs> ah, <laughs> from your mom. So, <laughs> so uh, again, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram at the Markland Advantage, YouTube at the Markland Advantage. Um, you can also find us on Twitter or what is it, X? Uh, oh, and yeah. uh, and Snapchat at TMA Real Estate, and we're on TikTok as well uh, on TMA Real Estate. If you know of anybody that's going to be looking to buy or sell in the upcoming months, please put our names out there for them. Uh, we will definitely take good care of them. Great podcast. We're back, episode forty, baby. Episode forty. Let's, Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in. Until next time, folks. Live your life to the fullest, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> take care. <laughs>